Pues gracias a todos. Um, just a reminder, please put your name in the chat uh, box because we're going to be giving out a $10 gift card. Uh, por favor, me ponen su nombre um, ahí en el chat box porque vamos a dar un rifle de 10 dólares de HEB and we'll include you at the end of the raffle. I want to thank you all for coming back. Happy Thanksgiving. Now we're going to Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Espero que ustedes tienen un día y comiste muy bien en el día de las gracias. No mucho pavo. But um, today we're going to be talking about snacks. Um, so snacks is very important to have throughout the day. So we have our main, our main um, plate, which is breakfast. Tenemos almuerzo. And then um, sometimes we forget to up to snack during um, between breakfast and lunch and then from lunch to dinner. And the reason why we want to continue to 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 have a snack in between lunches is so that way we can keep our metabolism going and that way we can burn more fats rapidly. And in addition, when we go to our next main dish, we don't overeat. So today I have a really good recipe to share with you. It's, uh, I emailed you the ingredients. It's the zucchini chip, zucchini chips and ranch dip. And it has a different twist to the ranch dressing. It doesn't have that much fat. We're using um, with uh, plain Greek yogurt. It has more of the protein, low fat. But what we want to do is, um, your ingredients are one zucchini, un calabacita, and then we're also going to use some parm cheese that's going to be shredded and uh, we'll have one cup of plain greek yogurt we'll also use the dill a half a teaspoon a half a teaspoon of parsley a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and one fourth of pepper and one fourth of salt so what you're going to do i'm going to show you um that was in a different location so sorry about the mess but if you all can see my zucchini what we're going to do is cut the edges. Vamos a cortar the edges. Also, um, make sure to wash your hands. Also, your zucchini. I have a brush that I, I love, and I'm also going to raffle this out at the end of the course. So after the wrap, the $10, we're going to give um, a brand new one. It's um, to clean the fruits and vegetables. It's really important to make sure you wash it before you consume it. And it also has a peeler. But so what I do is I uh, put it with just water and I scrub it. So making sure that there's no dirt or any germs that is in the fruit or vegetable. So we're going to cut the edges. And sometimes I like to cut them in an angle so they can be in a little Juliette slice. And we're going to cut them very thinly, one fourth of an inch. So what we're doing right now is we're pretending that they're potato chips. We're going to make our own potato chips. But zucchini has a lot of great um, nutrients for us. It's um, It has um, vitamin A. It's good for our eyes as well. It's also good for our bones. It has a lot of fiber. So important to include your fruits and vegetables also in your snacks so not only in your main courses so instead of the potato chips that have more grease and more saturated fats remember that trans fats those are bad for us we're going to try to make it healthier if you like something crunchy this is a great option you can always put it in a um, container along with a little um, your dip that i'll show you and take it for your snacks but we're going to cut them very slicely you want to put your hand into a claw so you won't um, cut yourself and very thinly. So it's one fourth of an inch. And they kind of look like little, I would say even um, like kind of like a thin slice of a paper. Um, so we're going to continue to do that. And make sure you don't cut yourself with that. How do you all like to have your zucchinis with calabaza con pollo? That's one of my favorite dishes. Does anyone have any ones? We have other recipes for zucchini um, muffins as well. You have to try that one in our web um, in our website um, and dinnertonight.tamiu.edu. They're so good if you like baking. Um, but this is just something that we like to use different um, fruits and vegetables so that way you can even get your kids involved because a lot of times the kids are like I don't like that um, but you know you hit you hide those um, 
fruits and vegetables with your children so that way they consume it. There's also zucchini tater tots that we can do. Um, how do you all make your zucchini? Okay, and then you keep on going. As you see, it makes a lot. I still have more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dry out. Zucchini has a lot of water and moisture, as you recall. Hydration, that's what you should be drinking water. But you also get your water through fruits and vegetables. So um, we just, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to get a paper towel. And we're going to try to squeeze out all the water in there. So... What you do is just put it there and then you just press it down. Lo que hizo Joan fue cortar el zucchini en rodajas un poco delgadas y después de que las cortó, las va a secar con una toalla para quitarles el agua porque el zucchini contiene mucho líquido y necesitamos quitarle lo más que se pueda. Yeah. So. And the reason why we want to dry this, um, the zucchini out, this stuff is very important. It's because you don't want it to be soggy. You want um, the texture to be very crunchy, like um, potato chips, como papitas. So, lo, que, lo que dice mi compañera, que la importancia de quitarle el agua lo más que podamos es porque nos va a ayudar a que las rodajas del zucchini estén un poco más este, tostaditas, si no van a estar muy aguadas y se van a deshacer. Once you already have that going, then you're going to um, put this in your um, air fryer um, and you're going to place it in there. And then you're going to just put a quick a little um, spray just so it can get a little crispy around like that. And then you're going to get your three fourths of a cup of Parmesan shredded cheese and you're going to sprinkle it in this air fryer. I apologize, um, the other room, the internet wasn't working, but um, we'll pretend that it's already in the air fryer and you just sprinkle it all around like that. And we're pretending this is already in the air fryer, so that way you're, you know, it won't look so messy. Eh, lo que está haciendo ella es que después de que les sacó el agua a las calabacitas, a las rodajas, las va a poner en una charola y luego le va a poner en, el, en las estufas ahora que traen eso de cocinar al aire, ¿verdad? Este, eh, usted las pone o si no, nada más en el horno y les va a poner el queso encima para que se pueda derretir. And then we're going to put this in the air fryer for 12 minutes at 370 degrees. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, that is fine. You can uh, move it to uh, your oven for up to about 20 minutes. So at 370 for 20 minutes. And so uh, I'm just going to place this away. Si ustedes tienen el, en su estufa el, para cocinar este, con aire, ¿verdad? Entonces lo van a poner por 15 minutos a 375, pero si no tiene esta op opción, pónganlo en su horno y va a ser a 375 por 20 minutos. Yes. And um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on the dip. And usually ranch dressing has a lot of high fat. So let's make it a little more healthier, one step at a time, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to use a Greek plain yogurt that has um, zero fat, non-fat. So make sure, remember we talked about reading the labels, the importancia of reading los etiquetas. So es que tiene no gracia, también tiene mucha proteína. Protein's good because it, one, it helps repair your muscles, especially when doing strength exercises. It also keeps our belly full. It, um, it curbs appetite as well. And um, it doesn't have any fat, so that's good. So we're going to use one cup of this Greek yogurt. Vamos a usar una taza del este, yogur griego. Y no tiene nada de grasa y nos va a ayudar para nuestros músculos este, que estén fuertes y, y puedan pues aguantar los ejercicios que hacemos. Mm -hmm. And this makes a lot. So this is a great appetizer snack for the whole family. So um, what we're going to do is get our spices. As you recall, we have some dill right here. We have some uh, garlic powder. We have some um, onion um, that's chopped as well, or ground onion. We have parsley. We have a one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and one fourth of pepper. So I'm just gonna combine them into this clear bowl. 
and I'm going to mix my ingredients so that way all the ingredients can be incorporated before I put in the before I put in the Greek yogurt. So remember the spices is really good for us because um, it adds flavors. We don't have to put any salt, salt, sodium that can um, cause water retention. It also um, messes up with our high blood pressure. So if you do have high blood pressure or anyone should just also limit your salt intake by putting in those herbs as well. So now let's put it in the Greek yogurt. So I'm going to put it in here and what we're going to do is we're going to mix it. Lo que estamos haciendo es un aderezo para acompañarlo con las este, calabacitas y lo que añadió ella es el, el perejil, eh, ajo, dill y, y lo vas a mezclar para así hacer tu aderezo que es más saludable que cuando lo compramos en las botellas porque eso trae mucha grasa. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And then you just see these beautiful um, herbs. It's giving color. It's actually looking like the ranch dressing that you buy that has a lot of fat in there. But once again, this is the healthier way. And you just want to mix it in there by folding it. I don't know if you can see the texture as well and all those beautiful um, spices that are incorporating with the dip. So um, once we put the, the zucchini in the air fryer or in your oven, in the air fryer, remember it was 12 minutes. In the oven's about 20 minutes. Um, it's gonna come out looking very crispy, kind of like potato chips. Can you see that? And all you gotta do is just plate it nice um, during the holiday seasons. You know, we tend to celebrate with the family and um, we want, usually we have those potato chips or we have dip that's not that great or we have more um, quote unquote, not healthy dish, um, dishes. So bring in those fruits and vegetables. So maybe you can bring the appetizer. That way you can uh, more likely eat more healthy. And um, I got this plate at the Dollar Tree. I think it looks beautiful for Christmas. It's a beautiful um, blue, red tray. And then you got the greens, right? So you can even make it into a Christmas tree, get your, um, creative in there. Um, you can even put maybe some cherries, uh, red cherries tomatoes so you can incorporate that as more of a Christmas theme but here are your zucchinis um, they're very crispy and what you do is just dip and you consume you're eating healthy and it's just a great snack to even take to your work or to wherever you're going to be going just put in a ziploc bag along with a little container with your dressing or you can um, take it to one of your family's gatherings. I know Christmas is coming along or maybe even New Year's, but it's something that you can incorporate. It's very easy to make. You can bring your kids involved in there as well. So any questions on this recipe? Esta es una receta muy práctica que usted puede hacerla y cuando está, por ejemplo, viendo las películas ahora en Navidad, es una manera que puede estar comiendo algo saludable, puede añadirle unas este, rajitas de zanahoria si quiere, este, de apio ¿verdad? para que lo acompañe y use el aderezo saludable con el yogur y las especies que se les dio en la lista que les mandaron. Y también lo puede poner en una bolsita de esas de Ziploc para que las lleve con usted, pueda comer durante el camino si va a viajar. Y es otra manera que va a estar comiendo recetas saludables y enseñar a sus hijos a que coman algo saludable también. Thank you all for listening to my recipe. I hope you make it. I'm going to also email you the recipe so you can have it. And as well, we're recording as to our YouTube channel. So uh, we'll put in our Facebook group as well. And um, for the meantime, I want to thank everyone that has been exercising and walking. Um, reminder, please weigh yourself and see if there's a difference um, since, um, you know, the beginning of the program to now. And hopefully you'll start seeing those changes. If not, you probably have also more energy as well. Maybe even a positive mind you might feel happier. But for this is a walk across Texas and this is a $5 gift card. Those that are um, exercising, we're going to put one out and then we'll do the $10 gift card at the end so I can put everyone's name. So if you have not put your name in the chat box, please do so so I can add you. Here it is. And it's Miss Rosana Josa. Congratulations, Miss. She be. We hope you can even try this. And not to mention, I didn't spend more than five dollars for this recipe. So, 
very um, inexpensive, cost friendly. And um, I hope you try this recipe. It's really good. Bring it to your family and I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. So thank you everyone. And I'm gonna pass it over to Miss Lillian. La receta que hizo mi compañera dice que solamente gastó cinco dólares, entonces no es muy cara. Y de un zucchini, acuérdese que puede sacar bastante este, rodajas para que haga sus eh, eh, tostadas. Okay. Un tip de, de zucchini y va a ver que se va a ahorrar dinero también y va a ser saludable. Entonces vamos a empezar con nuestro ejercicio. Acuérdese de tener su agua lista ¿verdad? para nuestros descansos y vamos a empezar.
I hope everybody learned. That was fun. Say sightseeing. You learn the cueful shuffle. So next time you can dance everywhere you go. You are ready. Yes, for the holidays. Um, before we leave, I wanted to do the last raffle. So um, let's do first the $10 gift card. So let's see who we get. I put everyone's name. I hope everyone registered. That's how I do have your email and put your name as it states. So let's see who the winner is. It is Miss Olga Flores. Congratulations. Good job. And then um, the other raffle, I'm going to be mailing out this. Um, it's Thank you. Yeah, congr congratulations. It's a vegetable scrubber and as well as a peeler. And let's see who that one is. All right. There we go. Miss Kimberly A. Gansu, congratulations, Miss Kimberly. Yay! I'll send it over. Um, I hope um, you registered. And if not, I'll get in contact with you and get your address. Or if you just want to email me, I can um, get that. But I'm sure you should have your information. Anything else? Anybody has any comment, questions about the exercise? Did you like to learn a new song, dancing? ¿Qué les pareció el ejercicio? ¿Les gustó aprender un baile nuevo para cuando vayan a una fiesta ya pueden bailar? ¿Sí o no? I okay. like this one. Sí, Miss Betty said. Maybe next time I can add a new one. A lo mejor la próxima vez puedo encontrar otra para que aprendan otra secuencia de un, un baile. Yes. Um, when do we need to have this week's walking miles entered by? So this is the last week that you will be entering your mileage. We are in week number eight. So please um, log in your miles. I want to say by next Tuesday will be the last day, last day to enter. Um, as well, they'll be sending you a survey as well. So um, I know our um, our college station and the health department are working with you all to track your health information. So you'll get more instructions by email through them. So they're the ones that will be pr presenting the incentives as well as your health information. Does this program run through the first week of January? So the step, the walk across Texas is going to be done by next week, which is just inputting your miles, but we'll still have our step up scale down every Wednesday. So next Wednesday, Ms. Lillian's going to be um, presenting. I'll be in Brownwood, Texas. Um, but I'll see you on the, um, so it's the 8th of December, the 15th of December. We're going to take a break for the holidays, so um, we'll come back on the 5th of January and the 12th of January of 2022. So the 12th of January is the last um, session for Step Up Scale Down. El 12 de enero uh, va a ser el fin um, programa de Step Up Scale Down. Para los que estaban inscritos en Walk Across Texas, Esta es la última semana y todavía pueden este, añadir, añadir sus millas hasta el martes tienen para hacerlo. Y también para el que estamos haciendo el Step Up, Scale Down, este va a continuar. Vamos a tener una clase la próxima semana y la semana del 22 vamos a estar fuera. Eh, vamos a regresar hasta enero, la primera el primer miércoles de enero vamos a estar usted, con ustedes otra vez. Y esperamos que pues sigan haciendo ejercicio con nosotros y que se cuiden en lo que están comiendo. Eh, también van a estar recibiendo información de Call Station, donde les están haciendo preguntas de su salud. Eso es un eh, programa aparte que está para ayudar que nuestro programa esté más, mucho mejor, eh, dándoles información de ejercicio, pero también que puedan cuidar su salud. Entonces, cuando les llamen o les pregunten o les manden un correo, favor de responder a esas preguntas. Gracias a todos. Thank you all. We'll see you next Wednesday. Well, Miss Lil you'll see Miss Lillian next Wednesday. I will be um, in a training. So thank you all. See you next thank Wednesday. Thank you. Próximo miércoles. Thank you. Bye. Bye.